Mike Rowe. And this is my job. I explore the country looking for people who aren't afraid to get dirty. Did you eat lunch already, George? <laughs> yeah. Hard-working men and women who earn an honest living. They're like little slices of heaven, aren't they? They're like snowflakes. They blew straight up out of hell. Doing the kinds of jobs that make civilized life possible for the rest of us. Now get ready to get dirty. <laughs> Coming up on this special eco-friendly Dirty Jobs. There you go. Everybody wants to save the planet. This is just a little slice of heaven you got down here. But how many are willing? In the United States. Let's have a look inside this thing. Kansas City International is one of the largest airports in the United States, linking 10 million passengers between Mid-America and other U.S. and international cities. It's kind of shaky. We're just going down the basement. We're going underneath the fireplace is what we're doing. To be honest with you, I'm not 100% sure precisely what's going to happen, but if I understood Doug correctly, he's going to hit some sort of button, which in turn is going to release a lot of the ash in the incinerator, which will cause it to fall into the container behind me, at which point we'll drag it out, dump it, repeat. I could be wrong. I've misunderstood a great deal so far. Okay, Doug, go ahead. I was frankly expecting a great deal more to come out. Hey, Mike. Yes, Doug? Well, we seem to have some technical difficulties, so I'm going to need you up here to shovel. Yes, we have technical difficulties. Excuse me. Uh-oh. I appear to be stuck in a fit. What do you suppose is causing the delay? I don't know. I'm not my first day with a shovel. So the Sierra Club has Robert Redford and the uh, Ocean Guys, they got Ted Danson, and Peter's got Pamela Anderson, but what do you do if you're a tiny little organization in the middle of rural Kentucky who's dedicated to cleaning up caves that other thoughtless pigs have turned into dumps? I mean, what kind of self-respecting celebrity is going to travel tons of trash from caves in this area? The trash bag is pulled up to the top, where it'll be hauled by a waiting bobcat to a garbage bin. Metal and plastics are separated from the trash to recycle. And then the rope is sent back to pick up more stuff. No idea. <laughs> Don't worry, we'll never use any of this. <laughs> <laughs> all right, there we go. Uh, and there's all, it's, what a surprise. Oh, there's, there's, like extra a, there's no body under here, is there? No, there's... That'd totally kill our show. <laughs> very slow haul, please. Very slow, very slow, very slow. Oh my God. Good smelling. I smell everything. The heat really intensifies the aroma. <laughs> Molten steel and Mississippi muck from inside a once sunken barge combined to create an indescribable stench. God, it just smells like Bobcat, a bulldozer, and a guy named Brandon. So yellow snow is never good, but this stuff can actually kill you. To decontaminate the snow, the diesel has to be removed. How do you do that? I have no idea. But Brandon of Magone Marine does, and it works on a very simple premise. I have a weir system, basically a separator system. Right. We're going to take the contaminated snow, put it in the weir, and heat up the snow. And then since the diesel is lighter than water, the diesel will flow into the tank. And by the time it gets to the end of the tier, it'll be pure diesel that we can pump into barrels. Once the diesel is separated from the water, it's stored and used by Magone Marine to heat their office pillars and act as a vapor barrier to prevent the growth of mold. I got a mouthful of insulation. Oh, I got in there. How's it taste? Not good. This is where it ends for me, under a house, wrapped in mold. At least I'm well insulated. All right, now the fun stuff. There's fun stuff? Oh, yeah. Mastic. And just go ahead and spread it right on the stem wall. Stem wall? That's this guy right here. Mastic is a gooey, marshmallow-like substance that works like glue to hold the two tough in place. That may be the worst. Okay. You are a mighty rock crusher. Yeah, thanks. Mm -hmm. The residues of many personal care products can seep into groundwater and contaminate the water supply. Terra Essentials are all natural and organic, so they do less harm when they're washed down the drain. The next step in making mud shampoo, select just the right oils and extracts to add to the mixture. Don't pour that in yet. No, it just smells very nice. Nicer than anything I'm used to smelling on this stupid shop. Oh, no, no, no. That. This is organic spearmint oil. Now we want to add the herbal extracts. I can't wait to try it. I'll be honest with you. I'm absolutely uh, intrigued. Next is bottling. Yep. I'd say a couple days. A couple days? A couple days. How do we pick this up? A one and a two. <laughs> it's just pretty much. And then you take, take him. That's where the lift gate kind of comes in handy. It kind of oh, you just put him on the gate. Keeps him off of yep. it. That bag gone. That's a mess. Well, it's a sad thing. There you go. I got some company. Oh, it's almost time for lunch, ain't it? I think I'll pass. I'll tell you what, bad day to be a deer. Yes, sir. You might be asking yourself, what do you do with a truck full of dead deer? Well, they're brought here to the person by their reaction when it happens. Green, for instance, will say, oh my God, I've hit a deer. We should set up a monument of some kind, build a fence along the highway to keep this kind of thing from happening again. Brown, on the other hand, says, oh my God, I've hit a deer. Crap, look at that. My car is a mess. My insurance rates are going to go through the roof. Can I eat it? Shampoo that changes. It, I can't say these words anymore. I, I can't speak. Don't watch your 
Yeah, we gotta let him on. Oh! <laughs> 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 I'm gonna lock you in. Hey, Mike, it's a great little show called Dirty Jobs. Think you'd be perfect for it. Very glamorous. You'll be famous. 